Good morning and welcome back. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar still facing backlash for these comments about 9-11. CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. Those comments inspiring decorated U.S. Army veteran and longtime Minnesota officer Chris Kelly to run for Omar's congressional seat in 2020. Officer Kelly joins me now. Thank you for being here with us. We appreciate it. So, so what was the final Thank straw? You, what made Thanks you, for having me. of course. So, what was the final straw? What made you, you know, wanna to go out on this adventure and try and run and get this seat? Well, I've said on other interviews that this was uh, that statement was kind of a slap in the face to first responders and everybody who died in that horrible day. Uh, it seemed very dismissive, and uh, I said to myself that either I could. Uh, you know, sit and complain about it or actually try and do something about it by running. So tell us your background. You're a 27-year veteran of the U.S. Army and Army Reserves, right? And you've spent the last two years working for the Minneapolis Police Department? Yeah, I'm a 27-year, uh, yeah, I retired in 26, 2016. I'm also, I have 20-plus years in the Minneapolis Police Department. So spent a lot of time in the district and I, I see a lot of things going on there. I misspoke. Sorry, I said two years, two decades, I meant to say. Um, so what do, you, what do you plan to change? Like, what do you think you can bring to that seat? Well, with my background uh, in both the police department and military, we're expected to perform. So I want to get out there and talk to everybody in the district. Um, it's my, my goal to uh, find out what concerns people, in addition to what I see every day on the streets. You talk about finding out what yeah, especially concerns people. People. I'm curious if people are expressing concern over Ilhan Omar and a lot of her comments that have been receiving a lot of criticism as of late. Well, that, that's that's on people's mind. And also I hear a lot from people are, are saying, uh, what is she doing for us? It seems like she's more concerned with her celebrity and fundraising outside of Minnesota and not really focusing on the district itself. Okay, so what else have people been saying there, uh, aside from Ilhan Omar? What else do they want done in that district? Well, we have, we have a lot of problems. There's the opioid, opioid epidemic. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of homelessness. Um, these are things I want to bring to the forefront. Uh, this, these are things we need to deal with. And our current uh, uh, congresswoman is not doing her job. That's, that is the concern. I understand that you ran for the Republican Senate um, endorsement in 2016. You were not successful at doing that. This time around, I believe you're going to be running as an independent, if that's correct. Um, what do you think is going to change this time around now? Well, people are, they're not happy with their current uh, congresswoman. Also, um, I think there's a lot of disaffected Democrats and Republicans who aren't happy with their party, primarily because it doesn't seem like a lot of things are getting done in Congress. So what I'm hoping to achieve is maybe bridge the gap between the parties and, and get some legislation done. I want to be able to work with both sides. You know that um, Congresswoman Omar is a part of the so-called squad. Uh, what do you think of the squad? How would you handle that if you were to take over that seat? Well, I think, you know, me, myself, I would be more concerned with uh, helping out my district and not, not becoming, uh, not embroiling myself in controversy. Um, I think we owe it to our constituents, if elected, to listen to their problems and work on solutions to make things better for the district. All right, Officer Chris Kelly, we will certainly be watching to see how it plays out. And we thank you for, my gosh, all those years of service that you have done for this country. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Jillian. I appreciate it.